plans are in motion tonight to upgrade a northern Pennsylvania jail after it failed to keep a homicide suspect locked up. Yeah, these developments come as the manhunt for Michael Burham stretches now into a sixth day. Pennsylvania State Police say they've received 500 tips from the public, mostly from northwestern Pennsylvania and here in western New York. Authorities also looking for the person they say was flying a drone in the area shortly before Burham escaped. Investigators also continue to find stockpiles and campsites, and DNA testing is helping them determine if they were in fact used by Burham. And while this manhunt continues, Warren County officials are now looking inward at what needs to change at that jail to prevent future escapes. Today, marking their first public comments about repairs and infrastructure upgrades. But these are things the sheriff already had on his mind when we spoke with him exclusively earlier this week. There's there's physical um, things we need to look at. There are procedural things we need to look at. There are, um, we'll just say, um, personnel that we need to look at. And so I wouldn't even speculate um, for accountability wise or any kind of blame. There may not be much blame. It may just be a culmination of uh, a shred of this, a shred of that, a shred of this, and it adds up to something monst monstrous like this. Tonight, 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley is following up with Warren County about the changes that they're looking to make. This is the Warren County Jail where Michael Burham escaped nearly a week ago. And now jail commissioners are calling for improvements to this facility. I apologize for this terrible situation. This is not something I ever imagined occurring as part of my role as commissioner. The chair of the Warren County Board of Commissioners apologized to the community and calls the escape of Michael Burham a very sad and unfortunate situation. While a number of law enforcement agencies are conducting criminal investigations, the commission and prison board are calling for repairs to the rooftop of the prison yard where Burham escaped from last Thursday. There is a square hole in it that has a, um, a chain link fence on top of steel girders on top of it. Um, and a small portion of it, uh, there, there, <laughs> there are pieces that hold that fence down. Those were broken. And so that was the hole that allowed him to escape through the roof. Commissioner Jeff Eggleston says inmates are monitored on cameras. We do not have people escape from the jail on a regular basis. And so that's why every, every moment of everything that happened after he escaped is being reviewed so that we can make sure that all of those things get buckled down and taken care of if there is a deficiency. Eggleston says every aspect of the jail security is being evaluated, including the cameras, and any gaps will be corrected. But the question is, how did Burham have enough time to make his getaway, using bed sheets to shimmy down the side of the jail? There's a period of time that it takes to get out of the room, get around the building, and then address him as he gets on the other side. The commission says reviews are conducted on a regular basis. I asked about concerns someone inside the jail could have helped in the escape. There's a very real possibility um, that, that any number of people could be um, charged with something. We can't discuss any of that at this time. Like, uh, but when that, when and if any of that it becomes an issue, that's something that will be released to the public. It's very weird, just sketchy to me. I don't know if someone in there had like something to do with it. Neighbors who live in the very quaint area where the Warren County Jail is located wanted to know how this happened. Are people though angry that it happened? Yes, definitely. I mean, something like that. They should have been watching over him a little bit more, I think. Commissioners now saying that every element of inmates jail life is being evaluated to prevent a future breach. In Warren, Pennsylvania, Eileen Buckley, 7 News. Eileen, thank you for your continuing coverage of this. And we want to remind you about Warren County's tip line for any information that you may have about Michael Burham. You can call 717-265-9650.